Hi, I'm Paul Battaglia. Let's take a look at some of the key elements in Chapter 7. On the surface, Chapter 7 looks like a rather long one with eight sections. But fear not, not all of those sections have to be covered before the AP exam. Now, if you're a Calculus AB teacher, we need to look specifically at 7.7, .7, L'Hopital's Rule. This is a new addition to the AB curriculum framework, and it needs to be covered as such. Now, don't worry too much about where you are in your curriculum. If you don't feel it's in the proper place, you can always make adjustments for future years. That's certainly what I've done in the past. If you're a Calculus BC teacher, you also don't necessarily have to cover all eight sections. I would look at 7.1, 7.2, 7.5, 7.7, .7, and 7.8. Let's go into a little bit more detail. The focus in this chapter is on integration techniques. We want students to be able to implement the correct computational processes. And 7.1 is one of those sections where you actually start and you say to yourself, well, do I really have to cover this? It looks like it's just going over some integration. We've already done it. But I think it's a great one to look at, and here's why. I actually would start this chapter by giving my students some type of an informal assessment, a mixed bag, if you will. I want them to be able to show me all of the techniques that they know how to do and whether or not they recognize when to do them. And then I'd like to give them like kind of a before and after picture. That's the before. After the chapter is over, I'd like to give them something similar and see are we any better at recognize when to use these things and are we incorporating some of the new techniques like we'll see in 7.2, integration by parts, and 7.5, integration by partial fractions. You know, while we talk about these kinds of techniques, it's, it's easy to forget that as teachers, we probably make this look really, really simple almost seamless. But from the other side of the desk, I'm sure it doesn't seem that way. You know, we've done these thousands of times, but now you're assigning these to your students. Now they have homework, and, and this is the first time they're seeing them. So now they're only, what, 10, 20, 30 problems in. They need the practice. So be patient with them, and remember that our explanations as teachers might need to be a little bit more detailed than we're used to. Now, along the way in this section, we have three sections that are, are not a, a covered in the AP curriculum, but are still worthwhile maybe going back to. 7.3, 4, and 6 cover techniques like integration by tables, trigonometric substitution, things of that nature. And those are great topics to give your students a little look at after the exam, particularly if you have those seniors getting ready to enter a college calculus course. These will certainly be covered in those types of courses. Now we end the section, as I said earlier, 7.7 .7 is L'Hopital's rule. And then 7.8, improper integrals. And BC students will now have to look at integration from a whole new different perspective where the limits, now either one or both of those limits, are infinite. And how do we deal with that problem? So these are all great things to talk about. And now at this point in the year, you might want to even get a little bit more into some more specific AP focus and more preparation. What that means is you have the option now and the ability to give students a wider variety of conceptual problems and tie in many more topics. So I think now is a good time to do that, especially with those Calculus BC students as we're winding down their year as well. I hope these tips have been helpful. I'm sure you'll find much success in Chapter 7.